Hi, welcome back. Good to see you again. Hope you're keeping well. Uh, I'm just out in some woodland not far from home, walking the dog. I oft often walk her around here. And uh, I've just come out and I've noticed lately that all these forget-me-nots are really in their prime at the moment. They're looking really good. And um, I've been thinking, I might get the camera trap out. I'm tempted to see if we can get some photos of the, the hedgehogs in front of it all. Um, I'm a bit of a sucker for a nice background and uh, I just can't resist seeing all these all these forget-me-nots out and not, and not have a go at getting something in front of them. Um, I regularly have my trail camera set up in this bit of woodland here and lately I've been seeing one or two hedgehogs so uh, they are about and um, I just can't, like I say, I can't resist the temptation to see if I can get a few photos of them tonight and or maybe the night after, we'll give it a couple of nights and see see if we can get some nice shots of shots in front of the, all these nice flowers. So I'll, I'll pop back home, get all my camera gear set up, uh, get it back out here, and uh, we'll see what see what we can do. I'll see you in it, see you in a bit. Right, welcome back. Um, as you can see in the short time it's taken me to go and get all my gear together and bring it out here, it started raining and I think it's pretty much set in for the rest of the day by the look of it. But anyway, um, we're out here now and um, there's one thing living in the UK that uh, you have to get used to pretty quick and that's getting wet. Uh, right, so I've decided to go with uh, my full frame, my Nikon D610 full frame camera, but I've got a DX a crop sensor lens on it. It's a ultra wide 12 to 24. Um, but on a full frame, you can use it from around about 18 up to 24 mil uh, without it vignetting too, too much on the edges. And I thought what I'd try and do, I've done away I haven't got my, um, my tripod or my, my other camera mount. I'm going to put it directly on the floor and I'm going to have a, a really wide angle view um, from, from the hedgehog's uh, eye level. That, that's what I'm hoping to go for anyway. And I thought if I add it nice and wide, we'll get it in nice and close and we can get all these lovely forget-me-nots in as well and maybe, maybe get a nice dynamic image um, of the of the hedgehog from very close up. What I need to do first is to work out where where the camera's going to go. Uh, which on on this camera it hasn't got a flippy screen, so it's not so it's not so easy. But, uh, if you just put it onto live view and look from the back. It'll give you a, a good idea where you want to be. I want to be in nice and close, but I, I want to get the um, I forget me not in as well. So I think round about there. Right now that now that I've established where I want the camera to go. Because it's going to be sitting directly on the ground, I'm going to have to dig just a little channel. Just a little channel in the ground because I've got a Swiss, Arca Swiss plate on the bottom and it's just rocking around a little bit. So now that I've established on the back of the camera where I want the camera to be set up, I'll just dig. 
Take a little channel, just round about there, just scrape a little bit of the soil away. In fact, I'll put that, I'll put the soil slightly to the front so the camera's aiming up upwards slightly. Let's try that. Alright, so that feels that feels pretty stable there. I'll just check on the live view on the back of the camera to see it's, if it's where I want it to be. Um, one problem I can't see straight away is um, the rain shield on the front's going to have to come off because, because I've got such a wide angle lens on. I've got it set to 24mm which on a, on a full frame camera is pretty wide and uh, it's vignetting, it's causing a lot of vignetting around the edges that's it, now that's come off it's, it's, it's absolutely fine so right that's in place uh, let's get the camera, the, the uh, flashes set up Right, that's it, it's all set up. Um, I've done a couple of test shots, so the exposure's just about where I want it now. Uh, I've got uh, the main lights just off to the right here. Uh, that's just below 1 16th power. And the fill light is just slightly below 1 32nd power, so they're really, really low, really low settings on, on the flash. Um, I got the PIR sensor to fire twice for every activation, so um, it hopefully might maximise my my chances. There's a little bit of a delay between the two two uh, triggers, so uh, hopefully that will maximise my chances. And um, we're all focused then. Oops. I'll just put a small, a little bit of. A very small amount of bait, uh, just some, it's uh, a very small amount of uh, top quality dog food, wet dog food. Um, you have to be very careful what you put down for hedgehogs. There's a lot of food stuffs which really doesn't do them very good. Um, things like sunflower seeds, peanuts, dairy, they're all, all big no-nos. Uh, the only thing I'd recommend really is high quality wet dog or cat food um, and maybe a little bit of um, chicken just white meat but only in very small amounts um, mealworms are another no-no um, I think I think they're they're addictive to uh, hedgehogs so just a bit of good quality cat or dog wet dog or cat food um, or a little bit of white meat you know a little bit of chicken but only in very small amounts um, so hopefully we'll leave this now tonight. I'll get all the camo, all the camo gear set up on top of it. Right, that's it. We're all camo, we're all the camo on. It's not, it's not to hide it from the hedgehogs. It's to hide it from any, any uh, wannabe thieves. Oh. Just make sure there's no nothing sticking up like small sticks and nothing more annoying than when you go to all the trouble, get everything set up, everything's perfect, and then you get get the photos you want and there's a little piece of a twig sticking up right across <laughs> right across your subject's face. So just have a little check round, make sure there's nothing 
nothing uh, sticking up in the air and uh, we'll leave that now till tomorrow morning and see what we get fingers crossed we'll uh, we'll have some images to look at first thing tomorrow morning i'll catch you then Good morning. This is not the following day from when I last spoke to you, but it's the day after. Um, I came back yesterday morning and uh, the hedgehog had visited, but he'd come in from behind the camera. And the, um, I just got one image, uh, which was just a little bit blurred, wasn't very good. So I left it out for another night. And uh, I'm just back now, it's, it's around about 7am and uh, I'm just, just back to see if I've got any better photos from last night so I'll bring you around the back here and we'll check, check the camera. Well, that was me just now. Oh. What's that down there? It looks like a robin. <laughs> Back to the camera. Yeah, it is. You can just see it there, it's red breast. Oh, there's a hedgehog. Turn round. And that's it. Oh, there we are, see? Looking a little bit shy. <laughs> Just poking his head out from the forget me nuts. They are very nice. Right, well, there they are. We managed to get uh, one photo, which I think is fine. Uh, there's two or three on there, but uh, I won't be able to tell till I get them back home on the computer. Um, but I hope you enjoyed tagging along. Uh, I'll put the images up for you at the end, and I'll just say thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a bit. There's a busy road out the front, which is uh, starting to get stacked up with the rush hour traffic it's Monday morning and everybody's off to work and that's where I'm heading myself now so uh, thanks again for watching and I'll hopefully catch you again soon ta -da.